Merry Christmas. Welcome. And good morning. My name is Reverend Jennifer Richards. I'm pastor here at St. Paul's Lutheran in New Cumberland, Pennsylvania, and we are so glad that you could join us for worship this morning. You joined us on a wonderful day where we have the lessons and carols. So you're gonna wanna follow along um, with a bulletin. Um, I imagine some of the words will be on the screen uh, to follow along if you don't have a bulletin. Either way, it's gonna be a wonderful morning. I wanna say thank you to Dave Kutz for the hard work and the hours and hours he put in meeting with all of the uh, folks who are engaged in this service, this liturgy for us this morning. I wanna thank them too for putting music together and reading and practicing. I wanna say thank you to Karen Worley, our musician here at the church, for all of her hard work of gathering the musicians and putting this together as well. And I wanna say thank you to Jim, uh, who, Jim Falkroad, who works every week to bring us all together and keep us on the straight and narrow with our liturgies. So with all of that said, all the gratitude we have in our hearts uh, following Christmas, why don't we take a moment to center ourselves as we prepare for worship. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus, the bright morning star, shines light in the world. By day and night, he shines for all to see. Jesus was born in the midst of injustice and poverty, that the world may see the justice, justness and richness of God. God so loved the world that God sent Jesus so that all who believe in him may not perish but have eternal life. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of our lives. Sing to God a new song, a song of hope, joy, and peace around the world. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Jesus Christ is born. The 
shepherds feared and trembled when low above the earth rang out the angel chorus that hailed our Savior's birth. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and Jesus Christ is born. Down in a lonely manger, the humble Christ was born. And God sent us salvation that blessed that Christmas and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Let us pray the prayer of the day. Almighty God, you wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and yet more wonderfully restored it. In your mercy, let us share the divine life of the one who came to share our humanity, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voices. Together they sing for joy, for in plain sight they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. The word of Lord. Thanks be to God. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judith, from you shall come forth me, who is rule in Israel. Those organs is from old, from ancient days. Therefore, he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord." in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall live secure for now. He shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be one of peace if the assassins come into our land and tread upon our soil. We will raise against them seven shepherds and eight installed as rulers.
reading from Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Croninus was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. The word of the Lord. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, who is the Messiah of the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a ch child right, wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in the manger. And suddenly there was an angel of multitude of, he of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to the God in the highest heaven and on, on earth peace among those he, whom he favor. When the angels had left him and gone into heaven, they, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that had been had taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child laying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured them all treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all that, that, that all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them.
reading from John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What is come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, He gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. The word of the Lord. Joining our voices with the song of the angels, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. Night and day, all creation praises you, O God. Strengthen your church across nations, denominations, and traditions. Fill us with wisdom and unify our proclamation of your forgiveness and mercy. Hear us, O God. All creation is holy to you, O God. You cause the earth to bring forth its shoots and gardens to spring up. Protect hibernating animals and frozen lands that wait earnestly for longer days of awakening and growth. Hear us, O God. The nations are upheld by your hand, O God. Cause righteousness and praise to spring forth, inspiring leaders to serve with compassion and integrity. Send your spirit of discernment upon legislators grappling with complex decisions for the sake of the common good. Hear us, O God. Send the spirit of your Son into our hearts, O God. Come quickly to hearts that race with fear, hearts that break with grief, and hearts that long for wholeness. Today we pray especially for Ken Dapp, Heather Yoder, Anita Painter, Pastor Sharon, Maggie Fogelman, Bailey, Carter, and Trevor, Kristen Klingeman, Pat Hefner, Jan Barrick, Carla Ziegler, Doris Savage, and Doug Morris. Let us also take a moment now to name out loud or in the silence of our hearts those for whom we are praying.
Reveal your power to heal and to save. Hear us, O God. Adopt us into your family, O God. Bless our elders with the peace and joy of Simeon and Anna. Strengthen those who have retired, those who work hard in older age, and those in need of income, food, company, or health care. Connect young and old across generations. Hear us, O God. Let us depart in peace, O God, according to your word. For John, apostle and evangelist, and all your saints, we give you thanks. Prepare our salvation in the light of all your witnesses of every time and place. Hear us, O God. God of mercy, come quickly to us with grace upon grace as we lift these and all our prayers to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We'll continue our worship now with reciting the Apostles' Creed, that incredible text um, that reminds us of this baptism that we have, this gift that Jesus brings into our life. Let us confess our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always, and also with you. I say this every week, if, if you're all by yourself, just hug yourself. If you're with somebody else, give them a hug and let them know that you love them. We'll continue now with the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. A blessing for you as we um, wind down our service together. There is yet another song to sing, but uh, I'd like to just close us now with a little blessing. Grace from God's own heart, peace from the Christ child in the manger, and strength from the spirit of life. Be blessings for you today and forever. Amen. We'll sing now, Cold December Flies Away, from ELW 299.
Christ is born. Go tell it on the mountain and everywhere. Thanks be to God.